Two Broke Rednecks present... Where are we going today, Mr. Durat? It's not where, Johnny, but when. Was that a jet? And now for our daily visit with Johnny and Mr. Do Right. <laughs> One morning, Johnny was awakened by the alarm clock. Good morning, barked Mr. Do Right. Did I do acid? Said Johnny as he jumped out of bed. Soon Johnny was all dressed, and he heard his mother calling him to breakfast. So he ran downstairs. Gee, I'm not hungry, said Johnny. As and the food here reeks. Look at those stink lines. Mr. Do Right, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Ah, I don't need it, returned Johnny as he walked out the front door. While they walked to school, Mr. Do-Right was telling Johnny that he really needed his breakfast for energy and it would keep him on his toes and make him sharp. Later, when Johnny was in the classroom, he... He got busted for drawing boobs. And at recess, he didn't even have the energy to play baseball with the rest of the kids. Then, when lunchtime came, he was so hungry he overate. And Looks more like he got food poisoning. Before, ...because he was too full. You should have stayed at home today for all the good you did at school, said Mr. Do-Right, as they trudged home that afternoon. Don't you hate a smart-ass dog? Always eat a good breakfast. Does human flesh count? One day, Johnny was running over to see his friend Stubby. His dog, Mr. Do-Right, was running along behind. When they got he greeted there, Stubby with a bitch slap. Well, said Johnny, and the game was on. Stubby chased Johnny all around the yard. Then Mr. Do-Right chased them both. And Do bit them on the ass. Hit, but Mr. Do-Right puffed. Enough's enough. I'm tired. I'm also drunk. Ah, we're not tired, yelled Johnny. Let's play leapfrog. Swell, said Stubby. Makes me tired just watching you, said Mr. Do-Right, as he curled up and took a nap. Johnny is presenting and Stubby is receptive of it. Do-Right woke up to see that they were playing baseball. You fellas should relax a little. You'll get overtired and it's not good for you, he barked. Man, that dog is bossy. Yelled as they hopped on their bikes and rode off toward the playground. Later, when Johnny came home, he was too tired to eat his dinner. And, and he smelled like funk. And he could also feel a cold coming on. Gachoo! So take a tip from Mr. do -Right. Don't get overtired. But what if it's from something really kinky? One cold afternoon, Johnny and Stubby were inside the house working on their model airplane. Let's turn the heat up, said Johnny. It's getting cold in here. Good Stubby idea. smoking a joint. Turn the heater up full blast. I'll close these windows too, said Johnny. Off in the distance, Rosie O'Donnell farted. Hurrying home to get in out of the cold. I wonder what the kids are doing, he thought as he started barking at the front door. Why don't they let me in, he growled. Because they're tired of your bossy ass. Opened the door. What's wrong with you? Barked Mr. Do Right, running into the house. Johnny and I don't feel well, said Stubby. Oh, no wonder. You've got the heat on full blast with all the windows shut. Get a window open. Boy, that fresh air sure smells good, said Stubby as he opened the window. Now we don't have to die from a heat stroke. Lucky for you guys, I came home when I did, growled Mr. Do Right angrily, or you would have been goners. And made this a Sid Davis film. Always keep a window open in a heated room. Because you can afford to heat the outside. One bright sunny day, Mr. do -Right was running and playing in Stubby's yard while Johnny and Stubby were in the house reading comic books. That's what they wanted to know at all dog to think. They were actually reading Stubby's dad's Playboys. Not now, they answered without looking up. Boy, thought Mr. do -Right, they don't know what they're missing, and he chased a cat up a tree. The whole time calling it a black bastard. And past Stubby's window, quit making so much noise. We're learning to fap it. Read. Oh, what's the use, grumbled Mr. do -Right, as he went in and curled up at Johnny's feet. Finally, Stubby got tired of reading, so he tossed aside his comic book and said, Hey, I'm getting kind of dopey. Me too, yawned Johnny. Let's go outside and play. You couldn't get dopier, piped up Mr. do -Right. You should have played while you could. Uh-oh, it's pouring down rain, moaned Stubby as he looked out the window. And we've read all the comic books, added Johnny sadly. And then they kicked Mr. do -Right to death. Get fresh.
fresh air and exercise when you can. Does running down the street naked covered in lime jello while shouting I'm a giant green bean count? One night, Johnny was looking at his comic books on the floor of the living room. Mr. Do-Right was there beside him, catching a quick snooze. He was awakened when Johnny's mother came in to tell him it was time for bed. Oh, gee, can I just finish this one story I'm reading, asked Johnny. No, I just read Seduction of the Innocents, and I plan to toss out all your comic books. After a while, Johnny had finished his story, but Mr. Do-Right noticed he had started another comic book. Hey, he reminded Johnny, you promised to go to bed when you were through with that one story. Okay, okay, said Johnny. Man, this dog's a control freak. Look with him. I'll just read them in bed, he said to himself. Porn for Michael Jackson. Know the difference. So Johnny stayed awake way past his bedtime, reading one comic book after another. And the next morning, he was late for breakfast, late for school, and too sleepy. Dude, you showed this pic earlier. So take a tip from Mr. do -Right. Get plenty of rest. I can rest in my grave. One night, Stubby stayed over at Johnny's house. They had just climbed into bed when Mr. do -Right said, You guys forgot to brush your teeth. Oh, Johnny got up to get some lube. Hopped out of bed and went to brush his teeth. What about you, Stubby? asked Mr. do -Right. Not me, Stubby replied. My middle name is Yuckmouth, after all. Sorry, said Mr. do -Right as he curled up to go to sleep. They all slept soundly through the night. The next morning, Johnny jumped out of bed and... Johnny had contracted rabies. You said, Stubby, you just brushed your teeth last night. Now again. This brushing will help to keep my teeth from getting cavities, said Johnny. He also goes to the dentist twice a year to have his teeth checked, Mr. do -Right added. Uh, Guess he told your ass. Baloney. So as more and more days and nights went by, Stubby continued to neglect his teeth. And as a result, he got a terrific toothache one day. But a really cool head scarf. In the dentist chair, having his teeth fixed. So take a tip from Johnny and Mr. do -Right. Brush your teeth morning and night. But I don't wanna. Dear Broke Rednecks, we don't make bad movies, we make bad movies better.